Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and I'm out on my porch deck, loving out here in this beautiful weather. And today, I want to share with you about perseverance. Perseverance is really important because one thing that I find sad about us Christians is, oftentimes, if our experiences don't line up with the Word of God, we believe our experiences over the Word of God. We just quit and change our whole doctrine. Where, where we should learn to persevere until our experiences line up with the Word of God. The Word of God says that my people die for lack of knowledge. And oftentimes we see somebody who we think has super faith and is super good person and so on, and they end up dying and we say, well, the Word doesn't work because she, she died or he died. And then we begin to change our faith in God into a whole new doctrine that isn't in the Bible. We begin to uh, cause our experiences to uh, our our experiences to be the truth rather than the word of God, and when that happens, then we no longer have we can no longer have the faith to believe for signs, wonders, and miracles because we already had bad experiences and we begin to trust them bad experiences over our over the word of God. So my word to you today is persevere, persevere. And I want to share with you a little bit about experiment, uh, Doctor. Emoto, a Japanese doctor, did an experiment. He found out that memory, uh, that uh, water has memory that is affected by by words. And what he did was he took two different bottles of water from the same source, and he spoke negative words over one bottle and positive words over the other bottle. Then he froze them, and he looked at the ice crystals they formed under the microscope. And the one that had bad words spoken over it turned into irregular, ugly patterned. Uh, ununiformed uh, crystals, and the one that had positive words spoken over it uh, turned into positive, uh, beautiful crystals that were formed and they were regular and they were just beautiful. And so he did that experiment, and he wrote about that experiment and its results in a book, which caused the mother and her son to say, "Hey, I want to reproduce this experiment and see if it actually works." So they took rice and they did the same thing. They said, took three containers of rice. One was uh, ignored, one they spoke bad words over, and another one they spoke good words over. And they looked at the results. And then this doctor wrote a second book and put their results in his book. And that became known as the Rice Experiment. And if you check all over YouTube, you'll see that experiment. Well, I did that experiment. And for 30 days, I took each one of these three, each one of the two rices, and I spoke either good or bad over them. And the results were amazing. And I challenge you to look at my video and, and to see the rice experiment. But the one that was ignored turned black. The one that I talked bad to had like a big black tumor, a big black mold growth on it. And the one I spoke good to was real beautiful. So the bad one had the little black mold the tumor on it. The good one had uh, all fermented smelling rice like the Japanese eat. And it was all white and creamy. And, and the other one was all black. And just for 30 days of being consistent and speaking words to him. So I challenge you to be persistent in um, proving that the Bible works by renewing your mind to what the Bible says and beginning to believe it and persist in doing it.